Thought these were cool. Uh, saw them floating around. Designed my own. I will show you how to design this. The poem in it is a chat GPT special. Maybe 50 cents worth of material colored with a marker. A little twine for the hanger. Eight bucks all day. And if you get these out sooner than later, before the kids go out on uh, Christmas break, uh, you will be raking in the dough. Let's make it. So I'm gonna import a sign that I have for a Christmas light. I'm not gonna work with it the way that it is here. What I am gonna do is trace this image so I can get the outline of it. This is fairly simple light bulb, so the trace, I'm not even gonna look at it. This looks fine to me. I want to get rid of a couple of things in here. The control U to ungroup, because when it traces, it groups everything together. So control U to ungroup. This top portion here, I don't want. I'm going to delete that. Uh, I'm going to keep one of these. I think I'm going to keep the inside one. We'll delete that. And for the time being, I'm going to keep this guy right here, this inside. Uh, I do not want to work with this upside down, though. So I'm going to hit the period button. And that's going to rotate clockwise, I guess. If you hit the comma, it'll rotate counterclockwise by 90 degrees. If you hold down shift, it'll do 45 degree in increments in either direction. Super tip for you, just starting out. Who or what has been your best teacher in life? Mine has always been messing up. Comment below, let me know. Now I want to make a representation of the grooves that you screw the bulb in. And that's going to be up here. It's not going to be anything fancy, but I'm going to create a rectangle. And this is nothing precise either here. I want to do a radius on this. So I'm going to pick up my radius and get my corners here. And you can see when you're over a corner, it tells you that it's over a corner. And you'll be able to use it. If the radius is too big, it'll have that red mark on there. Can't zoom in too far, but we're not looking for, I think those are all too big. That's a negative 0.19. Let's see what that looks like. That looks just fine. This is not going to be anything crazy. I just don't want it to be a sharp corner. I want it to curve and we'll do that to all four of these here. Come on, baby. There you go. All right. I'm going to want a couple of these. Actually, let me center this first. I'm going to center this with the pull down control and center it via the control Z to undo that. I want it just centered, not centered in the entire thing. So there we go. We are centered on the project itself, not in the entire project, if that makes any sense. So, because when you screw in, it's gonna be your grooves are at an angle. So I'm gonna angle this a little bit and then control D to duplicate. Holding down control and hitting the down button is allowing me to go in smaller increments up and down than if I just hit the arrow buttons. If I hold down uh, control and shift, it's gonna go down and up very small increments. That looks good enough. Just something to show that it's a light bulb and you screw it in. So I wanna take this inside piece here. Uh, I'm gonna hold down control and make it as big as that outside piece. I'm gonna take the whole thing, lock this. Currently we're at a height of six inches, almost six and a quarter. I think I wanna go five, actually six by three. I don't think that that's terrible. So we'll do that. This inside piece, why I kept that, I want to make this, uh, I want to do an offset on that. I'm going to go inwards. That's an eighth of an inch. That's a quarter. I think that looks good. We're going to delete that other part. And then holding down control and selecting the outside and the inside of the hole. Uh, I'm going to control D and duplicate that. So now you have your back and you have your front. All right, so here's the fun part is I asked ChatGPT for a simple poem to show some appreciation towards teachers that had to do with the light. And here's what we got. The teacher's light, you light the way, help us grow. With every lesson, love does show. A guiding star so bright and true, your world, or the world shines brighter thanks to you. So I think this is really nice. Um, but I don't like the way that it is so fat and we're trying to get this on a narrower part. So we're going to have to adjust this a bit. Let's see if we can get that to fit inside of this guy here. We are going to try and center that and that is centered. Holding down control and grabbing from the end will help make this fit in here. Lift this up a little bit. All right, this looks very nice. Want something down here though. I need to find a heart. Whatever, close enough. Sheesh. 
Damn it. <laughs> Mother lover. All right, there you go. Now I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to convert that to a path. Delete. With those still select all the words and the heart. And then control G to group all of that together. Pull it out. Control U to ungroup everything. Geez. I want all my words to be red. That way they engrave. Everything else is going to cut out. I didn't like how much space there wasn't over here. Now if we preview this. Babies, I know. You need love too, boss cat. Get down. You can see the back is going to engrave that saying. It's going to cut out the heart. It's going to cut out everything else. And then we can sandwich those two together. So, uh, let's see. Teacher light ornament. Here we have that. Now we have that in our library. And we can cut this out. All right, if you've made it this far, thanks so much for sticking around. I uh, hope to catch you on the next one. And keep on making. That was stupid. I don't like the way that sounds. I'm keeping it in. Subscribe. Do not eat that. What are you doing?